I'm Raj Kumar with DevX, uh, here once again in Brussels at the European Dev Days. Uh, joined now by uh, Peter Burian. Uh, Peter is the State Secretary of the Foreign Ministry of the Slovak Republic. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Now this is a very important conference, uh, looking at what are the ways to take development forward. And of course you come from a country that's a real development success story. It wasn't until a few years ago, really, that all of the World Bank loans and other aid that uh, the Slovak Republic was receiving were completed. Uh, but yet, you've started as a donor nation just, I think, in 2003. That's right. Tell me a little bit about your, your trajectory, your transition to being a donor nation, and kind of what you see as the uh, important role for your country in, in uh, foreign assistance. As you mentioned, until 2003, we were a recipient country of uh, foreign assistance, including the EU assistance, and uh, US and Canada have helped us to uh, undergo the, the process of very uh, deep transformation of the society. And uh, uh, we are very successful because the, the approach was very comprehensive to all aspects of the transformation. And currently, when we turn from a recipient country uh, to donor country, we want to share our experience with other countries, maybe to help them or uh, to be a source of inspiration and motivation for their reforms. Because if you take the period of 20 years uh, since we started our transformation, and we gain our membership in the European Union, it's really a very short historically period, but through this period we managed to go through such a uh, really uh, speedy process of transformation which really might be something which other countries might follow. Of course, we do not want to push them into any kind of model, but we want to show what worked in our case and what kind of mistakes we made maybe for them to avoid our problems we were facing uh, at the initial stage. And I imagine that's important to have an impact for a country, a relatively small country, even uh, though you give a very high percentage of your gross, gross national income as ODA, I think it's something in the neighborhood of $87 million now. Uh, it's still relatively small. You've, of course, been ambassador to the UN and to the United States. You've seen sort of the, the big scale uh, of, of aid that is spent by some other countries. Given, given the small scale of your, your program, how do you make sure to have an impact? How do you focus it in a way that it has an impact? Of course, we do not want to compare ourselves with big donors, and uh, we just started shaping our uh, official development cooperation system, and uh, we have an ambition really to build it according to the newest standards and to be very efficient, uh, even using this smaller uh, amount of money. And I think uh, really our secret was that, as I mentioned, we went through a very comprehensive uh, transform transformation and I guess really this was our secret. Uh, when you uh, uh, pay attention to all uh, aspects of the transformation and uh, you do not uh, disregard any of them, then you can be successful. If one of the legs, one of the pillars uh, of transformation is lagging behind, then you are in a trouble. So this is our, our uh, approach and uh, as I mentioned, we want to share uh, this experience with uh, countries in different regions and uh, what we registered really in our bilateral dialogue is that the interest in our success story, in our transformation process among the countries as diverse as Mongolia or Vietnam, Ukraine, Moldova or countries of Western Balkans is growing. So we do not want to uh, create some kind of false expectations. Sure. This was a very painful process, very difficult process, but it's a good investment for the future. And if you do it right, really this period can be very short for your transformation. Now, of course, the Slovak Republic is doing well, but you are in a continent in the European Union where uh, not everybody is doing so well. There's real fiscal pressure, Eurozone crisis, et cetera, is kind of the backdrop to this conference. There's been a proposal put forward by the Commission for 100 billion euro in additional, well, total spending for foreign assistance over the next seven years. Some countries are calling for that to be cut back. Mm -hmm. What is your government's position on that, on this, on this increase in assistance? We very much support the budget as, as it was proposed by the Commission. And we believe that really 
Also, paying attention to official development assistance is a good investment for the future and it's one of the factors supporting future growth. Because if you create a situation in different parts of the world, not only within the European Union, that uh, other regions might be suffering or will be less able to cooperate and trade with the European Union, of course, will we'll suffer the consequences. That's why we, we believe really that this part of the activities, and the EU is the biggest donor uh, in the world, uh, giving almost 50% uh, share uh, to official development assistance uh, globally, that this should continue and uh, this should be a recipe for uh, or remedy for uh, even our, our internal problems within the European Union. Now a lot of the way that uh, large amount of money comes out of the European Union is from the individual states like your yeah. country as well as from the Commission. Um, Carolyn Anstey from the World Bank spoke on a panel today and she said maybe we need to get past the point of putting our brand name on foreign aid projects. Uh, do you think we can get to that to that time? Can you imagine a time when you would not uh, indicate your country's own aid spending and brand it as your own, but rather be part of a general community? Actually, we are already doing that, and 80% uh, of our uh, expenditures for official development assistance goes under the name of EU, on, and only 20% of the uh, budget for ODA goes for bilateral projects. So basically, it's already happening. And really, uh, uh, the EU is an uh, important entity and it's only strong when it's together. Uh, and uh, we believe by pulling and, and, and really sharing uh, the, the resources and, and spending them wisely and effectively is the best way how we can help others and how we can help our th ourselves. Well, your country is a real success story. I appreciate you taking the time to talk with us today and uh, I know our members appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.